Day two for me. Oh, yes. Day three. Um, no, Charlie. He's gone back. He'll be driving his way back to Eastland now. Um, I think he went to Nakla or Fish Market. So I presume he's done all that because he left about six in the morning. Um, you're leaving this evening. Yep. Lost ferry or lost speedboat. Back. Lost speedboat. <laughs> Whatever time that is. Um, um, now we're going to get some breakfast and we're going to have a drive around the island to see what else we can find. And you know. Um, I've been here, this is my second, third day, uh, and I haven't seen it all yet, no way. No. No, it would take take more days than, than what I've come for, um, So, but hopefully I've quite, captured quite a bit of it. Should we go? Yeah, let's go. Food. Breakfast. I'm feeling rough, I am, mate. Oh. And, and I'm feeling rough, and I only had four beers last night. I was on soda water, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a hangover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a chango over. <laughs> Another beach, this one is Samai Beach. That's quite a big beach. Tide is out. Oh, it looks nice though, but then again, a bit busy, isn't it? But then again, not that busy because it's a big beach. But big, biggest weekend of the year. Yeah. Uh, and this one is Tien Beach. Uh, this is the one I've already showed you. Um, you got to walk down this way, and I filmed this on the first day. Got here. I'll be fair, be honest, this is my, my favorite beach. This one, it's beautiful.
Can I just place No. Ready to get off? Oh, can I not? Uh, I don't think you can take bags down there, can you? Right. Right, we've got to try to get up this hill. No idea, mate. <laughs> There you go, here is, uh, well that's John TM, and there's Pattaya over there. The sun will go down, sort of behind here, over here. So, looks like old, old uh, fat arse here. <laughs> We've got a bit of a flat tyre. Yeah. So, what do you suggest? Well, it's a good thing I've not been eating carbs, otherwise <laughs> I thought we were going up hills pretty slow. We'll have to blow it up. <laughs> There's a Thai guy coming, he'll do that. <laughs> so Jim's back to the mainland now. Nice one Jim anyway, it's been a ball. Cheers. Ten minutes, I'm back on. <laughs> yeah, see you in a bit. See, see you mate. Well I've been here, this is the third night I've stayed and I'm glad I've stayed the extra night now because first two nights I can't get a, get a uh, sunset because there's that much cloud. Third night, I'm here on my own and it looks perfect. Uh, one of the other things I've not been able to do is snorkel. Um, for some reason, I wanted to do some free diving and snorkeling, but I can't find a snorkel anywhere on the island. I need snorkel and fins to do that. No, I'm not bothered about mouthpiece. Uh, but unbelievably, there's nothing on the island anywhere. I thought they might, you know, rent some iron somewhere, but not at all anywhere. So just remember that if you're coming, if you want to go snorkeling, bring your own. I'm almost done with the sunset here now. If you see it's going, there's some cloud on the horizon. Um, and one of the other things is, you know, the, the people come and look at the, the, you know, the tripod and the camera, and they're still walking in front of it. Um, I've come to, you know, the other side. I've walked far. I've got really hot, um, so I'm out of the way of people. But they still do it. The ironic thing is, they look at it. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't gone up and looked in the bloody lens. But anyway, it was worth the extra night staying here just to get that baby. It's going now, but before it was cloud, too much cloud. Uh, but this is not a bit of it. It's absolutely beautiful here at the moment. It's cooling down now. Um, I was baking when I got here. I'm here on the other side, and right here is a market. Uh, not far from the pier, if you get the speedboat or, or the other boat. On it's really busy. Have a look at this.
do what I've just done. I've just gone in somewhere called Monkey House. Thinking it's a restaurant and it's somebody's house. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> I've come into somewhere called Kitchi in Pin Pinami uh, and it's right near to where I'm staying. Just opposite the bar where I've been going. Just over there. I had to get away from the town centre, it's absolutely packed everywhere. It's Sunday night, I thought the tides would have gone home by now, but it's a grand evening down there. There's not space in restaurants um, or anything. I'm going to speak to you about this uh, tomorrow, probably on the way home, um, because this island is busy, really busy. Yeah. Dive for a Leo, I've got a large Leo. Uh, where do we start? Let's start with the cashew nuts. Absolutely delicious, they had um, those fried cashew nuts. Uh, mixed in there with spring onion, um, lemon, and garlic, um, and it was it was delicious. Um, now onto the noodles. I think they were just like mama type noodles, but again it was nice. There was the fresh pepper in there, uh, sweet corn, which I do not like baby sweet corn, um, lime leaves, garlic, and soy sauce. And then, let's go on to the, I don't know what it's called. I thought it was Morning Glory, but it's not. It's a bit more, sort of tougher than Morning Glory. But it was nice, it's mixed with um, soy sauce, garlic, um, I think there's some onion in there, lemon in there, and chili. I had three dishes, a rice and a large beer, came to 390 baht, which is about nine quid. Nine pounds, that's like 12, 13 dollars. And that was a big uh, bottle of Leo, what I had as well. Uh, and this one is just, just next door to where I'm staying. And I didn't notice it before. Now I'm gonna go and check out, there's a couple of bars. Um, it's quite, it's weird how it's laid out. You've got um, by the harbour where you come in on the boat. And this is not the day tripper side, uh, the other side, the harbour where the 7-Eleven is, and the market. Um, th that seems to be bistros, um, restaurants. And then as you come further out, you've got the bars. Uh, there's probably four or five bars together, sort of large, large bars. Last night they were packed. So I'll go and see how busy they are now. I've just been in there, pause bar, it's packed. Every single bar here. There's only about five on this stretch, and they're all round. I'll show you this one here. I went in here last night, and they were queuing up going. Look okay, now it's still busy. Sadly, today I'm heading back to Pattaya. Um, right now, a couple of things I want to explain to you about coming here. Uh, firstly, until last week, it was somewhere I didn't consider coming um, because I always thought it was a daytime thing to come to Kolan. Um, and I'm pretty sure many of you out there are the same as well. But the fact is, Kolan offers a lot more. There's a lot more to offer here than, than just a, a day trip. There's now plenty of hotels, bars, restaurants, stunning beaches. If you keep away from the um, tourist side, you know, the day tripper side. Um, my favorite beach is Monkey Beach. That's absolutely stunning. Uh, white silky sand. Um, you know, it's as good as Koh Samet. Uh, there's certainly a lot more to do at night. Um, there's a lot of uh, ties that use this island. Last night I felt I felt like the, um, the only Falang in the village, you know, the only gate in the village. Uh, I was the only Falang 
on the island and perhaps since my mates have left uh well when we were all here together uh we were the only phalangs here at night in the daytime you go down to the tourist beaches you'll find lots of phalangs but at night time none everybody goes so um it's worth coming it is definitely worth coming it's different now downside to Colan. i'm not going to show you uh, but there's only one downside i can i can um think of here so far and that's the amount of litter everywhere uh plastic bottles as soon as you get away from the coast and you drive around uh you know the the, the, the hills and the mountain kind of sides you look in the in the the, the jungle a little, little bit of jungle what it's got and there's litter everywhere plastic bottles uh which is a bit sad really um, and one is presuming that these have been left here by by locals uh who just seem to keep dumping it anywhere um that's that's sad uh and you know thailand is such a beautiful country thai people are so so beautiful um they should really take care of the environment because uh, they've got one of the most stunning environments in the world but it'll quickly get ruined if they you know i mean i'm, I'm just looking here now uh, and there's plastic bottles everywhere they it really needs looking at sorting out that does i guess it's the oil industry waste uh why we've got so much plastic um but it is quite bad here it is quite bad so if the tires could clean that up um I mean, there must be hundreds of tons of it it's that bad but anyway besides that is it worth coming absolutely worth coming um i'm gonna get back to pattaya now hopefully get a, get the speedboat back it seems a bit quiet this morning but when you get to that pier side oh it's very busy uh, and the streets are quite narrow anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this uh, little series it has surprised me um apart from the rubbish it's definitely worth coming it's stunning here um, and you can find secluded quiet beaches away from the day trippers and at night time um it's good fun it's very good fun and the food is cheap it's as cheap as pattaya well it's the same price as pattaya um and there's there's some beautiful restaurants and food to be had guys thank you very much for watching this i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you back in pattaya <laughs>